I think the best thing in a gig is, is when, when, when you have a connection with all the people and having like this special evening. Even I go next day to the next, uh, next gig, next venue and next fans festival. They, there can always be a connection and always can be a, like the pleasure for like when you, when you see the first, first people like dancing in front of you and you smile to them and you, you feel connected like they smile to you. There, there are not many limits to music I would play. It's just limited in what I don't like or what I don't think fits to my music. It, it can be possible in every kind of music that something kicks me. I can't tell this is this genre, this genre, so I, I don't think in genres. I think in what I like and what I don't like. When I was 17 and younger, I, I really hated techno. <laughs> it's funny to say it now. When, I, when it was shown on the TV, when it was shown on the Love Parade or everywhere, it's just, uh, it just had a stamp. It's oof, oof, and that's it. So, and it was only drug music. And this little thing you see, there's so much more techno is, so, so much art in it. And so I have to discover it on my own. I become accidentally a DJ. Down at, at, the, at the building I lived, uh, some, someone shared some, some vinyls out, like just for the trash. <laughs> I grabbed them and uh, took them with me and I started playing this, this, this tunes I had. Was, it was kind of new for me. So I started finding uh, new, new records of this, of this kind of music. <laughs> I, I, I don't have a name for it. Uh, nowadays I know it's house music. Before I listened to how, when I listened to house or techno, it was always just uh, like industrial music. So I, I've never had the connection to it. I, I listened to rock music and uh, hardcore music, metal, but never to electronic music. Step by step, I get some records, and I wanted to to mix them because I heard of this DJing. But I, I don't had any any contact to other DJs, so I did it really my way and. Uh, uh, instead of mixing them, beat matching them, I start just putting track by track or just turn one off, then you have to spin out and you can put one on. Like, <laughs> I found some solutions to, to play these records. It started very, very low and in just in Berlin bars and some private parties, some home parties for the few first years. But in all this time, I made a podcast. So before I came out of Berlin, I was already like very known in, in some kind of scenes. But no one from the bookers tried to book me because it was like, okay, this guy's known, but just from the podcast, he don't made any productions. But step by step, it was like, okay, we can't ignore this guy because obviously many people listen to him. I had my first gigs in Switzerland, I had my first gig in Holland. And every time I, I had this opportunity to play in different countries or in different cities just even. And it paid out to work on it all the time. In different countries it's very different what, what other parties are. So I played a lot of shows in Asia, so there's, there's mainly in ma most countries you have tourists. So if, if you have a tourist, they, they go crazy like because there's no tomorrow for them. <laughs> so that's, that's in Asia mostly. Then you have Germany, you have the people know me, the people are like kind of relaxed. Then you have Switzerland, they're more, they're not so relaxed. <laughs> then you have maybe Holland, there's, they're like, they're very techno educated. That's very nice. It's like, because they have so many electronic radio stations for them, it's very normal when they're starting to listen to music they decide between electronic music, rock or whatever. When some people are educated in electronic music, so you play a tune and they're, from the first few hi-hats, they know sometimes the track and you're surprised and then, great, they, they can do it, they, they do it with me.
For me, mainstream, of course, I, I'm uh, in Germany, I'm, I'm being now in the mainstream. So because the people listen to me in the radio and it's kind of negative for some people. They want to want to be like a very individual people. So of course I can understand them. So they don't want to listen to the music. 10 of 100 people listen, so it's okay. So for me, it's not, not only negative, it's just well known. I mean, I make my own mainstream. If I don't follow a Geta or someone, so I don't follow the mainstream. I don't. I just. I don't produce mainstream because he's doing this. I do in my my music, and it it went famous. So that's not. Yeah, it's not the mainstream in in, in the way like. Uh, okay, I what what's what's known at the moment. I do this, so it's not what I did. First single, Please Stay Rosie, was out one week ago and the album will come out on 3rd of June. And in the album, it's, this time it's a bit more poppy, but I, I stayed myself true and of course bring some tech house and techno on the album. And different music styles I bring. So like a bit country, like a bit, uh, bit folk, a bit more pop and so I mixed some, for me, new stuff together. So when you listen to it, you know what, what it is. 